Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. So today we're going to be talking about another very specific rune word, um, and this one is actually two items. Um, this item is called Dream. Dream can be put into a helmet, and it can also be put into a shield, and, uh, and this makes Dream very powerful because it can be stacked together with itself. Well, this is important because Dream has something worth stacking, uh, which is a Holy Shock Aura. Now, um, Holy Shock is basically just massive amounts of lightning damage. Um, it also applies a pulse of lightning damage as you run around, uh, which if I go into uh, pretty much any area, uh, you'll be able to see that the lightning damage pulses outward and uh, and really does really does a lot of damage in lower level areas, but um, but as it this scales up, it's not an amazing amount of lightning damage uh, for lower level zones, for higher level zones. You can see that in lower level zones, you can literally just walk around and you can just attack things. And as you can see, I don't actually have a Holy Shock on, so that's interesting. And um, if I were to turn Holy Shock on, um, the two, unfortunately, do not stack. So my Holy Shock would not stack with the dreams holy shock uh which is which is kind of odd um my damage here is four to seven thousand and eleven and if i take holy shock off you'll see that my damage remains four to seven thousand and eleven uh, but what that does mean is you can stack the holy shock aura with something else uh, like for instance uh conviction which would be uh, absolutely amazing to uh, to run with uh, holy shock because then you would have a, a negative resistance killer um, along with your Holy Shock, which would cause your Holy Shock to do even more uh, massive amounts of damage uh, to targets. Because you, at level 25, Conviction does negative 150% to all resistances to anyone nearby and will break lightning immunities, which is pretty cool. So before we go into the Rune Word itself, let's pull up the Rune Word statistics on the website and we'll read those off and see what the variables are. So uh, the variables on the Dream Rune Word are 10% chance to cast Confuse when struck, level 15 Holy Shock Aura when equipped, 20 to 30% faster hit recovery, so we've got a 10% variable there on our FHR, 30% uh, enhanced defense, so not very much on the enhanced defense, uh, 150 to 220 added to defense, which is uh, going to be nice since it doesn't really give you very much defense, uh, 10 to Vitality, increases maximum life by 5%, and this is in the Helmet only. Uh, 50 to Life, and this is in the Shield only. And then it gives you Mana based on character level, which is kind of nice for a character who needs mana. Um, and then All Resistance is 5 to 20, so that's a bit of a oof there if you end up with a 5 All Res Dream after you invested the, uh, the runes in it. But it also has 12 to 25% uh, better magic find, which of course I don't think most people are going to be too worried about. Um, they're probably more worried about that all resistances than anything. And uh, the runes for this particular word are uh, Io, Ja, and Pole. The only really expensive rune there is the Ja rune. Uh, the Pole runes are moderately expensive, but nowhere near as expensive as a Ja. And the Io rune is, is pretty easy to come by. I actually have a pretty much a full stash of them at this point. And, um, so let's go back to the uh, to, the, to my character, and let's take a look at uh, at these runes together. So, as I said, these two items can be stacked together. And the beautiful thing about this is that uh, since they both have level 15 Holy Shock, when you're wearing both items together, you will get a total of level 30 Holy Shock aura uh, between the two items. And uh, of course, when you put it in a shield, you can find yourself a nice base that has 45 to all resistances on it already. Um, and then that will, of course, stack with uh, the resistances that are on the item. Now, uh, there's no guarantee you're going to end up with the, uh, the the maximum of 20 all res. And uh, and on the shield, you can see that that didn't quite happen because it's 65. Which uh, actually, no, that that is uh, that is perfect. Never mind. So these uh, these are these are perfect rolls because they're created. Uh, but that's okay. You're probably not going to see perfect rolls for dreams uh, yourself. Now, uh, it's very interesting because these can be combined in a variety of ways. Um, as I showed you earlier, um, if you run Conviction Aura with these, it's a very, very powerful. Um, you could also theoretically run uh, Fanaticism Aura. 
uh, with them, which is uh, which is very nice, because then you would attack faster. Uh, of course, you could also just simply use a beast weapon, uh, fanaticism, uh, dream, and conviction all up at the same time, which would be uh, certainly be a feat, now wouldn't it? Now, the interesting thing about using dreams on a paladin specifically is that, um, that he gains the synergy bonus for Holy Shock. Um, and what that means is, is that when you look at the Holy Shock skill, you will see that the Holy Shock has a 12% uh, damage bonus and a 4% damage bonus for any points that you put into the auras, resist lightning, and salvation. So as a dream paladin, you would be building the resist lightning and resist uh, and the salvation uh, modifiers so that you could beef up that lightning damage on dream. Now, of course, if you combined it, like I said, with a beast, you could have, for instance, fanaticism, conviction, and holy shock all up at the same time, and you would be doing some pretty massive amounts of damage with uh, maybe a skill like, uh, like zeal. Um, or you could combine it with a skill like vengeance and really stack on the uh, elemental damage. And as you can see now, I'm at... Uh, 12,000 on my top Not end here. there, which is uh, which is pretty high, and that's with absolutely no other equipment on whatsoever, which is, uh, you know, a bad thing, of course, because it would be nice to have some other pieces of equipment on. Now, um, the helmet and the shield are definitely some interesting pieces, and uh, I think a lot of people that end up using this set usually end up using both. And the reason why is because if you only put one on, you'll notice that the damage that you get is only about 2,700, and that's on a Paladin with the synergies. Um, if you're putting this on a character that does not have synergies, it's going to be rather low. And I think we need to go back over to the website and take a look at, uh, at how low that would possibly be should we go with a non-Paladin character for the Holy Shock Dreams. So if we go over to Holy Shock and uh, and we scroll down to the section where we find the level, we will see that uh, level 15 Holy Shock right here is um, lightning damage to attack, uh, lightning damage of 648. Um, and if we find the level 25, of course it doesn't even doesn't even go that high, does it? Level 30 is is fairly ridiculous. Uh, but it looks like to me it's adding about 50 per level is almost what it seems like. It's kind of a that's kind of an oversimplification, but we could definitely say about 50, maybe even 60 per level. So if we whip out a calculator real quick, we can get an estimation. So you're looking at probably about 1,550 ish damage on dual dreams on a character that is not running synergies. Um, and this is important because if you have a plan to use dreams on a character that is not running synergies, you may want to uh, take that into account. Of course, um, that's still 1,500 damage that's added onto your attack, uh, which is certainly nice. Now, let's look at the dreams sans the Holy Shock aura, shall we? Because uh, because what does the um, what what actually does the armor offer besides Holy Shock? And, uh, and if we look at it, we get a 10% chance to cast level 15 Confuse when struck. Um, and that's going to be doubled, of course, if you're running dual dreams. Which means that as you're running around and you're fighting monsters, if you, uh, if you come into, uh, you know, a, a area and you get beat up, level 15 Confuse is going to be a rather large Confuse radius. Um, so we need to, again, go back to the website and uh, take a look at Confuse and see what, uh, what Confuse does at level 15. So we've got uh, level 15 Confuse has a radius of 13.3 yards, which is the same exact radius of Conviction, by the way, which is 13.3 yards. At uh, So it has a duration of 38 seconds at level 15, which means that if you get struck while you are wearing Dual Dreams, the monsters will be stuck in a rather silly... <laughs> a rather silly confuse uh, like just spam uh, everything around you and uh, and that for 38 seconds which is a fairly long period of time and uh, and then we go back and we take a look at some of the other effects so uh, so dream also has the 30% uh, faster hit recovery which is always nice but it's 20 to 30 so it does vary um, it has a decent amount of defense thanks to the raw 220 defense added to it 
uh, which does seem to give the idea that you wouldn't necessarily need to put this in a Corona, uh, specifically because it doesn't have a large amount of plus defense, but it does have a rather large amount of just static defense, which would just add directly to the item. Um, it has a decent, a little tiny bit of vitality. It has some maximum life on it, which is very nice, though. 5% maximum life is going to be the equivalent of whatever you're currently at. So my character has not been leveled up correctly. He only has 169 life, which is, which is of course wrong for his 220 vitality. Um, he just he's a, he's a cheated in character, so pay no attention to that. Just keep in mind that 5% life is is pretty decent. Um, 61 to mana based on character level. If I take off both of my dreams, you'll notice I only have 14 mana, and uh, putting these on will of course give me some very very nice. Uh, mana points because that's that is at level 99 uh, level 90 would be more feasible but uh, it seems to be uh, 0 0.0625 per level so it's not going up and down very much per level which isn't really too big of a deal uh, we have the all resistances there but the all resistances can roll very low um, on the helmet all resistance is 20 would certainly be nice but all resistance is 5 is maybe not so great um, it really depends on how this thing rolls for you and uh I'm assuming that's going to be your biggest worry when rolling dreams, is, to, is that particular stat, the all resistances. I mean, if you roll a very low all res dream helmet, you might want to re-roll it, but a jaw root is kind of expensive for a re-roll. And, um, and, 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 and you're going to have to build it twice, so, uh, so that's very interesting as well. Uh, the magic find on there seems kind of like a moot point, but it's certainly nice to have on equipment, just so you have some magic find. And... Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a very interesting piece of equipment, but uh, but if you remove the Holy Shock Aura from the equation, it doesn't seem like the greatest piece of equipment out there. Um, it definitely seems kind of subpar compared to a lot of other pieces of equipment. So if you're not specifically using Dream uh, with the Synergy, it may not be a piece of equipment that you would specifically want to use. Um, however, there is another use for the Dream Armor, and, uh, and if we take a look at a Sorceress, Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put this in our shared stash, shall we? And uh, I'm going to pull up one of my test sorceresses, and we're going to put it on her. And the interesting thing about a sorceress is that sorceresses do have the ability to increase all lightning damage. And, um, of course, I need Dream in a non-Aladin shield, don't I? But, um... It's a, it, it's, it's a moot point. Uh, basically, what I'm going to show you is the actual Lightning Mastery skill. So if we take a look at uh, Dream on a Sorceress with Lightning Mastery, you'll notice that if I go to a regular attack and, uh, and I have my, my Dream on, the, the Dream damage is through the frickin' roof. So, see how it's 18 to 11,000 damage, and that's with just one helmet. Um, if I stack on the other piece, it's going to be even higher. And uh, the reason for this is because Sorceress has Lightning Mastery. So, um, it sans synergies, you know, sans the Paladin synergies, Sorceress has a 302% Lightning Mastery, which can be beefed up much higher than that, obviously. Um, if she were running, uh, for instance... The, um, the full Tout Rosh is set. She would get even more to her Lightning Mastery. And uh, let me go ahead and... Actually, I can't put the full set on because I, I can't put Tout Rosh's Crest on. But um, let's see here. Let's give her another plus one to all skills, shall we? And uh, so now we're running 13,000. And this is only with a single dream. Um, I don't have another uh, another non-paladin dream right now to put on her other hand, but as you can imagine, if one dream is giving her nearly 13,000 uh, damage, even with, without even having proper skills, by the way, if I were a real sorceress, I would probably have much higher than level 26 lightning mastery. Uh, but 350% to lightning damage is uh, is a rather large bonus. Um, it's been a while since I've thrown dreams on a sorceress, and um, I'm actually curious now what it would be like to have dual dreams. I'm going to have to get her a, a second dream. Give me just a second, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so here we go. I've got myself a second dream, 
and uh, this is in a monarch shield, of course, or the, the shield of choice. And uh, so now we have the full level 30, <laughs> the full level 30 dream, uh, which is uh, which is, is 34,000. 34,000 lightning damage is a lot of freaking lightning damage. And uh, and this could be paired up with something like Beast, for instance. And uh, and if you paired it up with Beast, you could turn into a bear and you could run around murdering things. It's um, it's a, it's a whole it's a whole gag on sorceress. It's called the bear sorceress. So um, there are other ways that you could build this, by the way. So if we if we talk about various build methods and build strategies, um, there are definitely some very odd build strategies, and the dream. Sorceress is certainly one of them. Um, she can be built in a variety of ways. Uh, number one is you could literally be a bear and you could run around and you could just be murdering things with a beast and two dreams. And uh, and the reason why this is so effective is because obviously your lightning mastery is really enhancing the lightning damage off of the um, of the weapon. And uh, and you're also getting the Aura from Beast itself. We talked about Beast earlier, and uh, and the synergies from these two items is is just insane. Especially when you count in the fact that you can uh, number one put on frozen armor, uh, number two enchant yourself. So uh, I can throw my enchant on myself, and number three I can uh, turn myself into a bear. That's right. And so now I am a bear that does 33,000 damage and can run around murdering everything in sight. Um, there are other, like I said, there are other ways you could do this, though. You could also build a, uh, a very powerful character around the a bow, for instance, if you wanted to be a bow sorceress using this same method. The Holy Shock does not care um, how you're applying the damage. It's just giving you a massive amount of lightning damage and your lightning mastery is of course improving that lightning damage by a pretty large proportions and uh, of course plus the skills is going to increase that damage from lightning mastery immensely and the interesting thing about building a um a holy shock paladin a dream paladin or a uh, dream sorceress is that you can build other things like for instance i could potentially put my points into energy shield if you guys have never noticed, Lightning Mastery, Fire Mastery, and Cold Mastery have no path to reach them. They could just be built independently of everything else, which means I could put 20 points into Lightning Mastery, 20 points into Telekinesis, 20 points into Energy Shield. I could also throw in uh, 20 points into uh, Warmth and 20 points into Enchant for that really nice fire and, uh, and attack rating. Um, and then I could also throw in 20 points into Fire Mastery, just so I'd have even more fire damage. Because that's only 20, 20, so that's 40. Uh, another 20 here is 60, so that's 70, 80, 90, 100. And then, uh, and then if I really wanted to go for the fire damage on Enchant, I could go to 120. Um, but you know, you could really min-max this to the to the to the hilt. You could say, for instance, build enchant just for the attack rating, um, and then maybe you could go over here and you could beef up one of these armors so you have a decent amount of defense as well, which is nice. So you would look like this once you've got everything uh, figured out. You'd have a nice little orb above your head. You'd be one of the few bears that has a little energy shield orb, and, uh, and you could be rocking massive amounts of mana and warmth if that's what you wanted to do. Um, just just a tanky bear sorceress. Um, like I said, you could also use a bow, something like um, a Demon Machine for the fire damage, or you could go with uh, the, the bow that has Guided Arrow. Uh, there are all sorts of strategies that you can use for the, uh, the Dream setup. But Dream is basically going to work the best on the characters that can synergize with the Holy Shock Aura. So, uh, so that pretty much comes down to the Paladin and the Sorceress who have the ability to in enhance the amount of damage that the Dreams are doing. Um, with the Paladin, you've got the Conviction Aura, which is absolutely amazing. So even though it only says 7,000 damage on the, con on the Conviction Paladin, you have to take into account that the Conviction Paladin can reduce all the resistances of all the monsters around him by negative 150%, which is going to practically double that damage. 
Um, and then the sorceress also, when she puts on the dreams, she also gets the effects of her lightning mastery, which is absolutely amazing. And as you can see, it's 33,000 on the top end, which is just absolutely beautiful as far as damage is concerned. Um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you've uh, gotten a good look at Dream. I've already prattled on for about 21 minutes for this particular set. And... Uh, as always, keep an eye out for some new videos. I'm uh, going to be coming out with several new videos for the uh, Rune Words. So this is just one of, uh, of many. Uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.